everyone, it's Melissa. I've just been grocery shopping with the girls and I wanted to share with you my market haul from John's Supermarket. John's in LA is more of an ethnic market. It's not your standard uh, suburban supermarket and it's a place where I go to get great deals. I got some great deals today on my produce, which I would say I'm buying for uh, half the price to one third of the price of my regular um, chain supermarket. So I'll share these things with you and I'll list all of the prices below um, so that you can see what everything in detail cost me today. But Passover is coming, so I was not buying a lot of the bread and bakery items that I do normally love from these types of markets. But I did great, get great fresh produce and fruit. I got veggies um, for the family to have this week. And I picked up chicken, which I've run out of in my freezer. So I'll just go around and share with you today. I got a dragon fruit, which I is... I the water out of that. I need, I need you to be quiet while Mommy is doing her thing. Bye. Okay, as we were saying. Um, so I bought several fruits that are my girls' favorites for their lunch boxes because we have another week of school before spring break. I was able to get a dragon fruit, which is one of their favorites. I know you think, oh my goodness, all of this produce costs so much money. It certainly can, but at my ethnic markets, because there's more demand for it, they they really move that produce. So it's fresher and cheaper. This dragon fruit was under 250, which was a great buy, and it never goes to waste in my house. It gets gobbled up immediately by my girls. I got grapes kiwi and these organic mangoes all of these were imported which typically i try to buy more local and in season but we're working on our citrus and our local strawberries and i wanted to fill in the gaps so i'll list the prices of these below but they were very reasonable kiwis are 33 cents a piece Moving on, I don't know how many of you are buying eggplant in your house, but this is the Japanese eggplant. They are delicious. They are shiny and firm and a beautiful purple. The baby loves to hold them in the shopping cart. Uh, my kids love you know, the color and the variety in the produce that we're buying, so I'm gonna make this Chinese style and glaze it with a little bit of soy, a little bit of brown sugar, some garlic, ginger, and chili, and that'll go with steamed rice, and I have these delicious string beans that I got. These were 50 cents a pound, so really inexpensive, and I'm gonna chop them and cook them again, Chinese style, um, just blister them in the pan with some garlic. So that's one dinner plan. I also picked up green onions. These are always like three for a dollar. They're so reasonable. We got fennel bulbs to have for some variety and maybe some salads this week. Celery is 50 cents for a bunch of celery. If I go to my neighborhood suburban grocery store, this is like almost $2. So I really try to I really try to save um, and do a big produce buy at the ethnic market. Other things that I love there are herbs and spices that come in a bag. I refill my jars. Um, the girls get little treats. These were 50 cents, so I let them pick them out. Pesto is a great buy and great quality. I love to grab that when I can. The dried fruits are amazing. I got these jumbo raisins, golden raisins, which are great just to be eating over Passover or in the lunch box. I do pick up chicken. This is not kosher meat. Um, because we are packing kosher style lunches in this house, but I got chicken thighs to make my chicken Marbella, and I'll list that recipe link below. It's delicious with prunes and Spanish olives. And I promised my older daughter that I would make um, my best effort at homemade chicken nuggets. So I got some chicken breast and we're gonna see how that goes. I got potatoes, I replenished my parsley, bib lettuce is a little bit of a splurge. This was $1.50, but you know, I supplement with the cheaper, you know, 89 cent lettuce. And this is for like lettuce cups or a fancy sandwich. Is that good? Yeah. Oh, yummy. Um, and then lastly over here, Canned goods can sometimes add up. I like to do my own dried beans normally, but for convenience and for my baby, we love like a canned garbanzo or canned black beans. I buy a little bit at a time. These were 50 cents a can. Thank you, 50 cents a can. Uh, if you've watched my hamantashen video, you know I can't get enough of the Bone Maman Jam. And this was on a great price because it's just normally a great price at John's Market. So I will list that in the um, details below. And then lastly, this is, 
I'll open that for you, my love, yes. This is an Indian style yogurt. I just wanted to highlight that at our ethnic markets, and even though this is more of a, you know, Russian style market, they sell Indian yogurt there. And this yogurt is just cultures and milk. So there's no preservatives, there's no sweeteners, there's, you know, nothing fooled around with this yogurt. And I love to buy it for my family because then I can add in what I want. All right, that is my haul from John's. This haul today cost me $56.36. I will list all of the prices below. If you haven't tried John's in LA and you have a big family to feed, I really suggest that you do. Your dollar is gonna stretch twice as far, if not three times as far, and the quality of the produce is really amazing. Thank you so much. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Please hit subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.